Vanderbilt has, has always supported collaboration between departments, but it's not always easy to achieve. What works in the lab, in the engineering lab, does not necessarily work in the hospital. And what does work in the hospital setting does not necessarily translate to a marketable product. Every person brings a unique perspective. Um, everybody has a different background. And that's what makes it work. It's not a room full of doctors, it's not a room full of engineers, and it's not a room full of business people alone. If you are in this network where you have these multi-interdisciplinary brainstorming activities, and I think that's, that's a tremendous um, uh, pull into uh, new research areas which probably would not have been tackled. What I'm holding here is the third generation of um, mobile EKG device. I've been here at Vanderbilt about 15 years. I started to do a lot of basic science, uh, instrumentation development, I did a lot of basic cardiac research and then um, a couple of years ago, my dad got really sick and uh, had heart failure and I saw you know, how medicine is really trying to help patients in a first experience and what I thought is that there is a lot of technology out there, especially in cardiology uh, and uh, smart healthcare technologies and wireless uh, transmission of data um, and there is were really not utilized at all. We started to uh, really out of a student project uh, develop a wireless EKG system. Being in the operating room setting often we get emergency cases coming in from outside hospitals and and we don't really know what we're getting. So we started on just the ECG, and we're, we're working on all vitals, but um, the initial one was the ECG, and I, I actually um, went to Franz uh, through a different contact who said, well, this, this professor is working on this technology already for something completely different. We've been working on, on the technology, but I, I didn't think it would be taking off, to be honest. I mean, I had a student, he did a, a great master's thesis, he learned a lot, it was a great educational tool. We used it also for undergrad research to teach the students how to utilize smart healthcare technologies in their future careers. And then I met Susan and she said, wow, this is a technology which we could use right away. Neither of us could do this by ourselves. It's really, I think, that trio of engineering, medicine, and business coming together that really makes this work. You can be more visionary. You can, you can imagine things. You could actually expand beyond what you thought is possible because you really got a perspective of what is needed. It's going to pay off. It already has. I think it should be our mission to go out and make sure that this uh, technology is ap applicable and uh, helps patients to recover faster and so forth. We will be successful if we just, if we're persistent. 